So we're now um, looking into Event 48, the final heat of the boys under 16. So I'll give you the credits, Michael, to, to shout this one out and call it through. Absolutely. In lane two, we have Dinong. Lane three, Mentone. Lane four, Diamond Valley. Lane five, Carayo. Lane six, Keylor. And lane seven will be Berwick. So um, don't have the full 16 teams across two heats here today for the under 16s. Um, so we are missing lanes one and eight. So it still will be the fastest. Is it the fastest time plus the next best? That's correct, Is that correct, the progression, yeah. even if there's two heats? That's right, yep. So it'll be the fastest competitor in each race. Yeah, and, and the then next six best times. That's right. So yeah. that's why, yeah, we were just mentioning before that um, you could come fourth or fifth in your heat if your heat's fast and still proceed to the final. So yep. that's what the, um, the great part about this is. So almost in the sand, in the hands of the starters here. So we see those unmistakable red tops in the bottom left of our screen. The races just wouldn't start without starters, would they, Kim? They wouldn't. <laughs> they wouldn't. They're a, a fairly uh, unique group of people, and we're very, uh, we're very grateful there for their attendance at all of our championship events. And we see Keylor on the back straight just charging away from the rest of the field already. Lane six there, they, they look quick. In lane five, Carayo making a strong start to their race here. The last baton chain is pretty smooth. Dinong on the inside of the lot of them looking pretty strong as well. But Keylor, I think they are going to be the ones to beat in these final stages. Berwick running well on the outside as well in lane seven. But I would say it's going to be Keylor's race to lose from here. Pending any protests or disqualifications, they will get a spot in the final this afternoon based on winning this second heat in the under-16 boys. Berwick, Dandenong and Carayo to finish. So there was only four uh, teams in that second heat in the end. Um, there is potential that they all will get a spot in the final this afternoon, depending on how quick they run. And that was Diamond Valley that just came through then as well. So there may have been a bit of a baton change. 